Okay, this, <clears throat> this video is about the algorithm when you're looking for one. There's a word called Haya in Hebrew, and it's H1961. Easy for me to remember. That's my, that's my brother's year he was born. It's a good thing for him to have come to be in 1961. But what do we do with the determinant? Because sometimes, and it is, has become the case, what can happen with entire constructs can happen with entire work. Just as it can be reduced to just one term, so much energy. So this word ha yah, H nineteen sixty one. And the question that presented itself to me, and even wrote a paper on it years ago when I was in seminary, is B or become, and I've read some very sophisticated books trying to come up with um, triggers and determinants, or as I just simply call it, an algorithm to decide when or how should it be translated. Actually, the <clears throat> it's not the best question, uh, what should we do, uh, say about it, for we have a word, um, genomai, however you'd like to translate that. And it's G1096, I believe. If not, you can look that up and enjoy it. It means it's become, it is the corne term for become. And the question that I could answer, but not, I could never answer, why would I translate it be or become? I could answer whether or not because our Bible's in two languages. One's Hebrew, primarily, of course, I, and then the other's Greek. So the question is, how did the Bible translate it? And we have that. We have a text that tells us how the Bible translates it. And <clears throat> there is a text, Psalm 118, Psalm 118, 22, that uses Haya, and then there's the quote of that text in the Corne uh, text, and it is Mark 12, 10. So, if you ask the question, how does the Bible translate the term, that can be answered. Now, it's not to go and throw our lexicons away because those are not inspired nor are they completely exhaustive and doesn't mean that as we continue to study throughout the years that we won't continue to happen upon great things that are there for us. But in this case, uh, the algorithm is actually the best question. This is similar to the complex question of monergist or synergist and we know that synergist doesn't exist in the Bible. Um, the Bible says that Jesus said that the purpose of the work of God, he's the work, the monergist, is in order that you all might believe, well, believe there. So we have monergist God, believer, man in the text. So there is no such juxtaposed worker together with worker. There's no God working and a man working. But the way it's unfairly asked is always because of bias and we are skewed in our thinking we always want to bend everything toward our interest. But in this case, I, there's a lot of literature out there that's rather obsolete based upon this one uh, recognition or acknowledgement that the New Testament, which is another language into which the Hebrew was translated, when a quotation occurs, and that's under the superintendency of the Holy Spirit. So this one is without a question. However, everything that's allegedly determined upon how this is translated is not something uh, you can be so certain about. But you can be certain, absolutely certain, that the algorithm for Haya is not the picking of be or become because, as I have another video, that was the slippery slope because if you pick the wrong one, all these horrible things are there stored and people have been negatively primed and ready to release all that negative energy and seem to do so happily. But this is a determined, absolutely determined, irrefutable, nothing can be said, not that 
you know, it's something you'd care to do rather than expose it, announce it, and enjoy it. So that's enough, just an example of what you can do and learn from Koine text. You can learn that it sometimes provides a translation answer for Hebrew when even the uh, grammars and lexicons of Hebrew fail to do so. So that's, that's enough there. But Koine is very powerful in helping us understand our Bible.